For this experiment, you will need these materials. Some crocodile clips. Some screwdrivers. Four batteries. And an iron object coiled with bare wire. Set up the apparatus as shown. Now connect the iron to the batteries. This is now an electromagnet. Now use it to pick up the screwdrivers. The magnet had no problems picking up the first five puts. There seems to be a problem. It looks like the magnet can't pick up the heaviest screwdriver. Change the batteries from series to parallel. Again, connect the iron to the battery. Use the electromagnet to pick up the screwdrivers. One, two, three, four. It falls. Let's try again. It seems that with the new setup, the magnet only manages to pick up four. One. Two. Three. Four. Again, there is a problem with the fifth screwdriver. We put the batteries in the same arrangement as the first experiment. As you can see, the coils are reduced by half. One. Two. Three, the fourth seems too heavy for the magnet to pick up. Thus, from what we observe in all the experiments, we can conclude that the strength of electromagnets are affected by at least two factors. Voltage, and the number of coils. We have two battery holders containing two batteries each. So let's call each holder a group. When we use only one group, the result is the same as using two groups but arranging them in parallel. Since voltage of the two parallel groups is equal to voltage of one group, we conclude that the same voltage gives the same result. For the last experiment, we use the same battery arrangement as the first. Therefore, the voltage is the same. 
However, we changed the number of coils around the iron. You can see that the magnet is now weaker. Hence, it is concluded that the number of coils affects the strength of the electromagnet.